white. And there's our white rabbit. Again, it's just putting it into the center point. We'll just mess and put it there. Move our camera a little bit more. There we go. Okay. It also wants us to change the dot notation of this world. It wants us, so what we'll do, click world, come over here where it says my first method, rename it. It wants us to rename this to a camel case, which says, Okay, it says animation. And as you see, it took place. Uh, it also wanted us to rename Oh no, actually that was it. That's all. That's all. It wanted us just to rename the uh, world or instance that we have here. So, we just renamed it. Now it wants us to make sure that it renamed in our uh, method editor, which it did. So now we know we're working in the correct uh, world. And it also makes it, all, when you change that, your event window should also change. And as you see, it changed. Again, like I said, you can create another method within, within the same world. And you just gotta make sure when you start, you have the correct one. So if I created another one, uh, Hi. So see now we have two. If I go here, we have two different instances. You know, we have pi and then we have animation. But uh, we don't want that, so let's get rid of it. Now we're going to have, what we wanted to do, as we remember from that flow chart, I wish I could show you guys, uh, but it says white rabbit moves forward to a position in front of Alice. Okay, so we got to go, hmm, how are we going to do that? Okay, well, we're going to click on the white rabbit. We have the move command now. So we're going to have move. We're going to drop it in forward. We're going to, it says here, it wants us to make it go two meters. So two meters. Okay. Sorry, I hit up, didn't I? Forward. Now, if we run that, you're going to see he's going to go forward, but he's definitely not going towards Alice. Okay, so we've we got a problem here. Um... We could either fix it two ways. I'm going to do how the book wants me to do it. Um, the book wants me to have the rabbit face her. So all we're going to do is click turn object. And now there we go. We have the object turning towards Alice. Again, it, I, I don't want to jump into chapter three and how we can make it actually physically turn and face Alice. I'm trying to keep it simple. I want to show it, but I, I got to hold back. So now if we play it, He's sort of in front, so this is where we're just going to mess around and go, okay, move him a little forward. There, okay, almost there. Okay, there we go. We have him facing there. So, now we need to do a twist or a turning, a rotation. So, what we're going to do is we're going to click on Alice now. And we're going to see turn to face right here. So we're going to drab, uh, drop in turn to face. Who we're going to turn to face? Well, we want her to turn to face the white rabbit so that they're looking. So we're going to do turn to face and the entire white rabbit. So now if we run that, see she turns to face him. So we want to also make sure he turns and faces him. So, we're going to drag in, we're going to click on him. You know what, I'm going to do it the simple way. We're going to just click here, we're going to change this from being Alice to White Rabbit, and turning to face, instead of White Rabbit, but turning to face Alice as a whole. So now if we run that, now he faces his Alice. I don't know why the book is trying to make this harder than it needs to be, so I'm going to try to simplify what the book is telling me to do to how to make it much more easier. What they wanted me to do was make the white rabbit go two meters forward to Alice, then have Alice turn to face the rabbit, but then have the rabbit face Alice. So see, it's, it's making it more complicated. The easier way is just 
have the white rabbit go forward and then have the white rabbit face Alice. So I'm going to simplify the book so sometimes I might change things up a little bit. So now we have the, uh, we're following our flow chart. Oh well, okay, so see this is why they're making it. This is my mistake. The flow chart says Alice looks at White Rabbit. So yes, we gotta keep it Alice and the White Rabbit. Because that's what the flow chart's telling us. So even though the, the rabbit's not looking at uh, Alice, Alice is looking at the White Rabbit. So because it looks a little hard, it looks like she's not uh, looking. We're going to go back into our editor. And let's just twist her a little bit more so we can see that she is... Tur uh, click her center point. Ah, damn you, Alice. Work with me. Sorry, there we go. I meant to click her, not the center point. Okay, so there. She's looking at the white rabbit now. And then when it moves, it'll look better that she's actually turning to face him. There we go. So see, that looks better. Again, my mistake, guys, at the beginning, I forgot to follow the flow chart. Again, this isn't my flow chart. i got to remember, you know, if I was writing this program, I would have made my life a little easier in the flow chart. But um, Alice is the one looking at the rabbit. So now that the rabbit's going to say, oh, dear, oh, dear, I shall be late. So we're going to have the say command come in. Make sure we click on to the white rabbit. We're going to have it to say. And we're going to have it custom. So we're going to enter our string, uh, and it's, oh dear, oh dear, I shall be late. Okay, so if we run that, she turns and faces, and he says, oh dear, oh dear, I shall be late. Again, uh, it flashes really quick, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a, a more, a duration, Make it two seconds so it lasts a little bit longer. This way we can at least see it. Okay, and now it says, our, if we follow that flow chart, white rabbit moves forward off the screen. Okay. So we have the white rabbit marked. We're going to have another move command. We're going to move forward. And we're going to go five. That should take them right off the screen. So if we do that, and then he's gone. He ran. He took off. He was late. So there you go. If we look at our flow chart, we followed exactly what it wanted it to do. We even added a nice, you know, because we made it five, it looks like he's running. So it's kind of playing off the whole, oh my god, I'm late, and he took off. So there you go. There's a uh, you know, now it asks us at a checkpoint, did we follow the program development cycle? Well, if we, if we looked at every step, we followed the flowchart, we put in our methods, we, um, we ran the program, and it followed our methods. And it followed everything. There was no bugs, no errors, no uh, nothing. So everything worked out to how we wanted it to work out. It ran smoothly. No. Um, if we, like I said, I, I was reading the book wrong. I thought it, it wanted uh, Alice to look at the white rat, or sorry, I wanted it. I thought it was going to be the rabbit looking at Alice and saying, "Oh my God, I'm late." But in our flow chart, it says Alice looks at white rabbit. So basically, the rabbit's late, so he's running by, and Alice is looking at the rabbit as he says, "Oh my God, I'm late," and then the rabbit takes off. So basically, you know, he's not looking at Alice saying that. He's looking. He's basically thinking to himself, "Oh my God, I'm late," but he's saying it. Um, and Alice is just looking at the rabbit, like, "Oh, what's going on here?" Yeah, if you if you try to think of the movie, that's exactly what happened in Alice in Wonderland. The rabbit goes, "Oh my God, oh my God, I'm late," and Alice looks at the rabbit, and then the rabbit goes down the hole, and then Alice goes, "Hmm." And she goes through the hole. So it, it's just trying to play off the whole Alice in Wonderland. So now we're going to look at this. And I remember if I, to, if I, yeah, when I told you we had that flow chart. Uh, for my flow chart as the hair, um, I added some comments. So what we're going to do here is for this flow chart. Oh, yeah, sure. Go ahead, uh, Synax. Oh, 
what do you want? Uh, let me, uh... Oh, the chat's still there. <laughs> Whoops. Life cycle? Life cycle. Uh... Is the development program life cycle different from the... Cy okay, cycle. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. I was like, life cycle. Um, you have designed the program. Basically, uh... What, what do you want your program to do? You're going to think of what you know what you're going to design. Then you're going to write those methods. Uh, basically, you're going to write those commands of what that program's going to do. Then you're going to test your methods to make sure that program is running how it's supposed to. And then you're going to debug the methods, making sure you have um, that everything's correct. There's no faulty codes. You didn't get no syntax error. Um, you don't have a logical error. You're, you're making sure your program ran how you wanted it to run. Uh, so basically, it's a, a complete loop. If you if you had a problem somewhere, you're going to go back to where that problem was, go back to your design the program, and look. Okay, this is what I wanted my program to do, but it didn't do it. You're going to look through your methods, fix the methods, and then test it again. And you just do that loop over and over and over until you have the program running how it should. Again, this is why it's perfect to write a, uh, is it, what is it? What is the difference between logical somatic error and a syntax error? Uh, logical somatic error, uh, somatic error is the, progr um, the program can still run, um, but there's a mistake that is making the program not do what it, it's planned to do. Um, basically, it's a bug. It's it's a bug. So it's it's doing it's running, but it's not doing what it's supposed to do. Whereas a syntax error is um, it's a code somewhere you wrote wrong, and it's completely not allowing the program to run. And if that's not fixed, the program again it can't run. You have to find where that error is and fix it. But a logical, it'll still run. It just it's not doing what it's meant to do. Two tools to break down a to break down a series of steps. Hmm. Well, I want to say a flowchart and a persuado code would be two. Two. St well, no, that's two tools. Hmm. Tools to break down the problem into a series of steps. Ah, uh, the only thing I would think of is testing and debugging it, but th those are not tools. Ah, uh, hmm. Oh, it is testing and debugging? Oh, flowchart and persuade. Whoa, how bad am I delayed? Because I said that a while ago. Okay, <laughs> I must be really delayed. Whoops. Um, okay, so flowchart and persuade. Oh, that's what I thought. Uh, right now, it's probably 3. Yeah, 310. Sodo. Oh, so it's Sodo code? No. Sue. Okay. Pseudocode. Pseudocode. Okay. Pseudocode. 
See, I hate when they throw peas in there and it sounds all different. God. Hate the English language. <laughs> Pseudocode. Okay.